Very good, brother. Liman til kas sayaratul jamila tu. How will you answer, uh, translate this, brother? Beautiful car. Yeah. What is the now translation? What is the answer? He uh, put a line there. He uh, uh, put a line, brother and sisters. He uh, lil mudiril jadidi. So what is li? Harshad. And then is shabu jumla khabar. Fine. And what is al jadidi? Naat. Where is manut? Mudir. Mashallah. 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 Alhamdulillah. Okay. Liman hazal kitabul kabiru. Translation, brother? Big, big kitab. Huh? Al kabiru is not for kitab. What is the answer? No, again another question. Who are lil mudir, mudarrisi? Is it for the teacher? Belongs to the teacher? La. No. Who are? Lil talibil jadidi. Because huh? manut is. Majroor, the Naat became Majroor. Is it clear, my brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Fine. Ain al milakatu sagiratu. Ain al milakatu sagiratu. Where is the small spoon? Choti chamchi ka hai. Okay. <laughs> you know that, 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 that chamchi, the sound makes you laugh. You know? <laughs> Always used in a wrong wrong connotation. Yeah, he a fil kubi. He a fil kubi. He a muktida put a line there. Fil kubi, jar majur, shibu jumla, khabar. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Ain al kursi yul maksuru. Where is the broken chair? So al maksuru, brother. Al kursi yu al maksuru naat manud. Huh? Okay. Fine. Who a hunaka? Okay, brother? It is over there. Where is Muftada? And where is the Khabar? Hunaka. What is Hunaka? What is Hunaka? He says Zarf. The first thing I will say Zarf. It's not Mudaf. Hunaka will come on its own. Huh? Hunaka is a Zarf. Zarfu Makan. Huh? Okay? And there is no Mudaf after that. Fine? So I will say, who a muqtada, huna ka zarf, shibu jumla khabar. Shibu jumla khabar. Shibu jumla means phrase. Huna ka is a phrase. Over there. So it's a phrase. Okay? So shibu jumla khabar, you will say. I hope you now are not a stranger to shibu jumla. Shibu jumla, everybody understand. Okay. Tamarinu. Ikra waktub. Tamarinu, ikra waktub. Watch this carefully, brother. Okay, Sister Salman, you read, brother. And translate. Huh? Mustashfa. Tabibul Kadimu. Mustaf Safi. Mustaf Safi. Okay, Mustaf Safi is clinic. Huh? Okay, now I will try to analyze it. Huh? Pay attention. Huh? At Tabibu. At Tabibu. Muptada, brother. Why are you so hesitant? Muptada. Fine. And what Al Jadidu? Not. There is no khabar yet. It is not, brother. Are you with me? Okay. Don't take second word. After Muftada to be khabar. It can be badal, it can be naat. Okay. So, at-tabibu Muftada al-jadidu naat. Where is the khabar? Fail mustashfa. Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. What? Wow, ataf. What tabibu? Wal kadimu? Tabibul kadimu? Tabibul kadimu? Muftada naat. Fail mustaf safi. Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Okay, brother, look at this. Now, the Naat is coming for Muftada, and it will come for, for Khabar also. Here it is coming for Al Kalamul Maksuru. Brother Salman, what is Al Kalamul Maksuru? The broken pen. Huh? 
So, what is Al Kalamu? Mubtada. And what is Al Maksuru? Naat. Where is the Khabar? Al Al Maktadi. Huh? Okay. Now, Sister Abir, you read quickly, Sister. Al Mirawahatu, ceiling fan. Huh? Yeah. Fi has come, so what will you say, Phil? Ah, mashallah, mashallah. See, your, your mind immediately felt there was, I did not say correctly. Huh? Huh? Okay. So, where is Muftada? Al Mirwatu. And what is Al Jadidatu? Na. Na. See, Marfu, Marfu. Muannas, Muannas. Are you with me? Definite, definite. Fil Gurfati, what is Fil Gurfati? Shibu Jumla Khabar. Chahar Majru, Shibu Jumla. And what is Al Kabirati? Naat. Naat for what? Gurfati. See? Alhamdulillah. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Sister Sukhaina? Aha, ha, ha. What a beautiful sentence. Al Lugatul Arbiyatu. How will you translate, Sister Sukhaina? Yes, beautiful, and I agree 100%. I agree 110%, brother. Okay. Where is Muftada? Where is the... What is the next word? It's a naat. Where is the khabar? Sahalatun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Sister Naima? Oh, this is a big sentence. Huh? Uh, let me read it, huh? And I will try to, uh, uh, I will, okay, when I say start a bracket, then you will, and when I will say end the bracket, you end it. Because I want to explain you. Huh? These are the things, brothers and sisters, I try to explain to you slowly, slowly, even though they are not easy. But I assure you, by the time you come in the book three, you will all be jumping with answers, and your answers will all be correct. Al Waladu Tawilu. Al Waladu Tawilu. After Tawilu, put a bracket. Al Ladi Haraja Minal Faslil Al Ana. End of bracket. Uh, did, you, did you get it, brother? Uh, brother Salman? Brother uh, Abdul Salman? Yes. Brother Farooq, did you see? I said Al Waladu Tawilu. Then the bracket will start after Tawilu. Alladhi kharaja min al faslil ana. Are you with me? Bracket ends. Before Alladhi, bracket will start. And after Al ana, bracket will end. Talibun min al kuwaiti. Okay. Brothers and sisters, if you remove the bracket, remove the bracket. I mean the, everything in it. The bracket and what is between the bracket, remove it. What is the sentence now? Al waladu tawilu talibun min al kuwaiti. Got the idea? That is what it is. Al waladu at tawilu talibun min al kuwaiti. So, brother, where is Muftada? Al Waladu. And what is a Tawilu? Naat. Okay. What is Talibun? Khabar. Minal Kuwaiti Jar Majal. Brother, if I don't do it, you will be searching all day long where is the Naat and where is the Khabar and she. So what is Al Ladi here? Okay. Remember, I told you, brothers and sisters, are you with me? Ismu Sharas. They are pronouns. They are definite. Ismu ishara can come as a muqtada, can come as a khabar, can come as a fa'il, can come as a ism majroor, can come as a mudafilehi, anything, because it is a noun. But whenever it will come, <coughs> and it can come also as a naat, we will learn in book three, huh? but <coughs> it, its form will not change. Similarly, Alladhi, which is relative pronoun, can come as a fa'il, uh, can come as a 
khabar, can come as a naat, can come as a ism majroor, anything, anything, depending on the sentence. Now, in this sentence, if I tell you, al waladut tawilu, the tall boy. Now, I'm telling you little extra about that tall boy. What I'm telling you? Extra. Little extra. So, what will be al here? Naat. Are you with me? Says the Salma. I'm describing little extra tall, uh, the tall boy. Huh? So here, uh, it will be come as a naat. Now remember, brothers and sisters, I'm giving you heavy dose, knowing that I'm not fair. But I know I will stand behind you, and you will come every day to the class, and within few days, you will become expert. Inshallah. So here, Allah is a coming as a naat. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, tomorrow inshallah. Now, remember, this is something very beautiful. Huh? Very, very beautiful. What is the uh, relative pronoun called in Arabic? What did I wrong? Al ismul mausulu. What is it called? What is the English translation of Ismul Mausulu? Relative pronoun. Eh? What is the translation of Ismu Ishara? Demonstrative pronoun. Eh? This is called eh? Ismul Mausulu. Eh? But in book 3 this will come all the time. But in fact in book 2 also it will come. Al Ismul Mausulu. Eh? Now whenever there is a Ismul Mausulu, whenever, 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 Whenever there is a ismu mausula, there will be a description. It could be one word, it could be a one sentence, it could be few words. Huh? And that we call it silatul mausul. What do you call it? Silatul mausul. Huh? Just try to remember, brother. Silatul mausul. Silatul Mausuli. And this is Al Ismul Al Mausulu. Now I am also writing to you here something else. And you will tell me what is the difference. What is the difference between Al Ismul Mausulu? How did I write down? How did I write down? Al ismu al mausulu, naat manut. That's the way they write it. The scholars write it. How they write it? Sir uh, uh, Salma, al ismu al mausulu, huh? naat manut. Here, what did I write down? Ismul ishara ti. So what it became? Mudaf mudafili. That's the way they write it. Huh? Just keep it in mind, huh? because eventually you want to become perfect. In your knowledge. Huh? Okay. Salatul Mausuli. Huh? Brother, Salatul Mausuli is something that is connected to the relative pronoun. Huh? That is connected to the relative pronoun. Salatul Mausul is something that is connected to the Ismul Mausula. Huh? Okay. Now look at the sentence properly. Brother. Al-waladu tawilu ladhi. Ladhi is? Ladhi is? Ismu mausula. Huh? Ismu mausula. And then uh, what is after that? Kharaja min al-fasli al-ana. Are you with me? Kharaja min al-fasli al-ana. Huh? Okay. So what kind of a sentence is this? Jumla failure. Kharaja fiel, where is the file? Mustatir. Takadiru huwa. Min al fasli, jar majru. Al ana, zafu, zaman. No, brother. Then comes talibun. Are you with me? No, talibun is not connected with al lazi. Talibun goes to the al waladu tawilu. That's why I said, if you say the sentence, Al-Waladut Tawilu, 
Talibun min al Kuwait. Does it make sense? It does make sense. Huh? It does it does make sense. And then Al Waladu Tavilu Ladi Kharaja min al Fasli al Ana. No, this Kharaja min al Fasli al Ana is connected with Al Ladi. What is it connected with? Are you with me? Do you feel it? Huh? Alladhi kharaja min al fasli al ana. So what is this, brother and sisters? We will call it silatul mausul. And I will give you many examples. Why did I put that thing in the bracket? First to tell you that Alladhi huh, is ismu mausula, and the rest of the words were silatul mausul. Huh? Please say three times silatul mausul, silatul mausul. Silatul Mausul means something that is connected with is a Mausula. Are we pardon? I still, I still, okay. Now I, I remove a Tawilu. I will say, Al Waladul Ladi Kharaja Min Al Fasli Al Ana. Still, the Al Ladi and Silatul Mausul are connected with each other. Now, Talibun will be Khabar, still for Waladu. Al Waladu Talibun Min Al Kuwait. Are you with me, Brother Salman? Remove everything. And you say, Al Waladu, the boy, is a student from Kuwait. Huh? Now you say, Al Waladu Tawilu, the tall boy, Talibun Min Al Kuwait. Now you say, Al Waladu Tawilu, Al Aziz, who came out of the class, is a student from Kuwait, huh? So I will be in the beginning asking you to write 